Thank you for your interest in Montcalm Community College's nursing program. I'm going to take this opportunity to review this nursing program admission packet. This packet, as well as other information, can be found at this website, montcom.edu slash nursing. I will review the highlights of this packet today for the purpose of giving a general overview of the admission requirements to the program. I ask that, I ask that you read it more thoroughly as well as meet with a counselor or advisor who will review it in, with you in detail specific to your situation. The MCC nursing program is a competitive admission program. This means that the students with the most points will be asked to enter the program each admission cycle. While it is competitive and there is no guarantee of admission, there are things you can do to make yourself more competitive and a counselor or advisor can help you with these options. To be eligible to apply for the nursing program, you must meet the following five criteria. You must have an overall MCC GPA grade point average of a minimum 2.0. You can't owe MCC any money or have an outstanding bill. You must be using your MCC email account. This is very important because due to privacy laws, this is the email we must use to correspond with you regarding your personal information. Please email us from your student email and include your student ID number. Additionally, we ask that you check your email often as we may send you important information that you need to be receiving. Specifically, look for an email called happenings as it may contain important nursing program or application updates. You will take a HESI assessment test during the NAD and 108 class we will talk about. That consists of grammar, reading comprehension, vocabulary, math, biology, and anatomy and physiology. The test results are good for one year, and you can retake it every three months after you first take it in NAD and 108. You may choose to do this because as you will see, it is almost half the points that determine the score toward being accepted to the nursing program. Additionally, we use the highest score in each individual section based on all of the tests you have taken within the last year of application. Then the fifth criteria is you need to complete these five classes. When this five criteria have been met, you can apply to the nursing program. MCC has two application cycles. Students hoping to enter the program in January will apply in October, and students hoping to enter the program in August will apply in May. Up to 32 students are accepted each application cycle. I can't emphasize enough that you should be meeting with a counselor or advisor throughout your time in this process, as the counselors and advisors can help you know what classes to take when, help you understand the BSN options and prerequisites, help you fill out your application, and more. Well, the counselors and advisors are not able to help you very much with this financial aid, please contact the financial aid or business office with questions related to financial aid and payment. Please note that when you are asked to enter the program, you will need to prove certain immunizations and a CPR BLS credential. This is not necessary to apply to the program, but please understand this will be necessary to enter the program. MCC has several agreements to start at MCC with the associate degree in nursing and continue on for a bachelor's degree with schools such as Ferris, Central Michigan, Davenport, Grand Canyon, Chamberlain, Saginaw Valley, and more. Many of these options are online through the future school, part-time or full-time, and are very convenient. Please talk to a counselor or advisor about these options. If you are already working in direct health care, and or have an alternate health care certificate or license, such as an MA certificate or CNA license, that can help you point-wise toward the program. More information on this in a few minutes. As we scroll down to the next page, this outlines the nursing program. Semesters two through five are the actual nursing program you are trying to enter. These semesters will either be completed fall, spring, fall, spring, or spring, fall, spring, fall, depending on when you are invited into the program. However, Biology 203 and Psychology 120, Philosophy 222, and Poly 240 
can be completed ahead of time. This is very convenient as it will reduce your workload in these semesters. Please note that it may impact your financial aid as you will not be a full-time student. If this is a concern, please talk to financial aid before taking these classes. As we scroll back up to semester one, these are the five classes you need to complete to be invited into the program. Please understand that depending on your situation, you may have more classes to take than this, such as college success, zero series developmental classes, or the prerequisite to biology 202, which is biology 100 or 105 or 121. A counselor or advisor will help you understand the sequence of these classes and what you need to do to complete them. NADN 108, College Success for Nursing, will be taken the, fi the final semester that you're completing these five classes. The next page outlines a point system that determines which students will be asked to enter the program each application cycle. Section 1 is your grade point average in only the five classes required to enter the program. You will see that a B average in these classes is only three of the 20 points. So you can see how important it is to do well in those classes. Section two is the HESI test that we've already talked about that you will take during the NADN 108 class. Section three is if you have earned a degree at time of application. If you already have a bachelor's degree or higher, it is worth six points. An associate degree is worth three points and an associate degree from MCC will earn two bonus points for a total of five in this section. Section four is based on the number of credits toward the program you've taken at MCC. The coursework on page three that you will take before entering the program can count toward this section. Section five is almost two different sections in the sense that the first part here, A, is if you have been working in direct patient care within the past two years, you can get points based on how long you have been working. B is for your alternate health career certificate or license, such as an MA or CNA, as explained on page two of this document. And C is if you earned your MA certificate or CNA license from MCC, you can earn three bonus points. You will earn points in section six if you are a military veteran. In section seven, based on our articulation agreements for the bachelor's degree, you still need a handful of additional classes to set yourself up to go on to the future school. For each of these identified courses, we will give you points based on your corresponding grade up to a maximum of 15 points. Again, a counselor or advisor will help you understand this area. You can also earn five bonus points if, when you apply, you've already applied previously. And then there's also some tiebreakers. The next two pages are the pages you actually submit when you go to apply to the program. This is a brief introduction to the nursing program. Your step, next steps may be admission steps. If that is the case for you, please go to montcom.edu Click on the admissions tab and then the guide to getting started. If you haven't already, you can read down through these steps, go to the first link to apply to MCC and send all your previous transcripts for evaluation today. They have to come directly from the previous school to be official or in a sealed envelope. If you have credits you'll be transferring in, it is important that those transcripts get here and evaluated as soon as possible. You can also explore funding options such as starting your FAFSA. Additional important steps are to take the assessment test, which we use Accuplacer, or orientation. SAT and ACT scores may also be used. If you already have an associate degree or higher, you do not need to complete the Accuplacer test or orientation, but your transcripts will need to be on file for that to be waived. Then, when you have completed Accuplacer and orientation and your transcripts are here and evaluated, your next step will be to meet with a counselor or advisor. We ask that these steps are completed prior to meeting with us simply because we will be able to better assist you if these steps are complete. To meet with a counselor or advisor when you are ready, please call this number 
989-328-1264 to make an appointment. I hope that this has helped get you started today and I look forward to seeing you at MCC soon.